What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jang Zoe video. Now as you can see up here above me, Rudy Gobert, four-time Defensive Player of the Year. Congratulations to Rudy. Uh, he won Defensive Player of the Year for this year, NBA, oh sorry, 2023, 2024. Uh, but as you can see already over there, people already commenting, it's uh, Wemby got robbed. So I personally think that Wemby got robbed as well. I think Wemby should have won it. I feel like they just gave it to the team that had the better wins. I don't think he was the better defensive player. I think the team had better defense. As you can see from last game, he wasn't even in the game. And they locked up the Nuggets. Like, come on. Like, I know these these uh, votes were put in a while ago. But, you know, we're going we're gonna to go over it. So, um, just if we're looking here on Twitter... Uh, Four-time defense player here, Rudy Gobert. The voting results, as you can see, Rudy got 72 first-place votes. How the hell does Victor Wembanyama only get 19 first-place votes? I mean, seriously. Like, crazy. I, like, if you read the comments over here, 19 first-place votes with one of the worst defenses. I know Wemby will be generational, but that's awful. He That is, I, I understand, the team is terrible, but it's Defensive Player of the Year, not Defensive Team of the Year. So Heat Nation over there in the comments, like, I just I just can't agree with that. But yeah, Rudy Gobert got 72 first-place votes. Victor Wembanyama got 19 first-place votes. Bam Adebayo got three. Anthony Davis got four. Uh, and then as we look down, I don't know who voted for Drew Holiday. Um, probably some Boston, like, fanboy or something. I don't know. But then uh, Wemby got 44 uh, second-place votes. Rudy Gobert got 24. So the 24 people that voted uh, Rudy Gobert second didn't even vote for Wemby as first. So that's what I mean. I, I could think. But, yeah, just ridiculous. And then people who have put Wemby in third, like, oh, my God, what are you smoking? Like, I just... <sighs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Wemby to me should have been should have been the defensive player of the year as well. I just feel like the NBA is kind of like this brotherhood. They don't like to let brand new things take over the things that were already in place. And I get it. I get it. It, it is what it is. But anyway, uh, you know, congratulations to Ru uh, Rudy Gobert. Don't think he deserved it this year. But hey, the Timberwolves are going great. Uh, there were a few other things up here. J. E. Skeets, shout out to J. E. Skeets. Bring back the old Depoy trophy. I agree. I think that trophy is heaps better than the new one. Uh, I think the new one, I understand why they've gone new, but I just, I would rather have the this one here on my on my mantelpiece than, uh, than the new one, uh, this one. Not to say that one's not awesome, but I feel like it needs a little bit more. It's just like a vase with a player on it, um, personally, personally. Um, now let's, I think there's some more stats up here. So here we go. Stat Muse left is Defensive Player of the Year. Right is a rookie. Uh, so Gobert, 0 0.7 steals per game. Wemby, 1.2 steals per game. Uh, Gobert, 2.1 blocks a game. Wemby, 3.9. Nearly four blocks a game as a bloody rookie. I know he's gigantic, but like, yeah. 104.4 uh, defensive rating for Gobert. 105.8 defensive rating for Wemby. Uh, like, yeah, you can see here once again, uh, 2.1 blocks, 3.6 blocks. You can just see here, like, I don't have to keep reading it out, but deflections, 124 for, for Gobert, 204. So that's like, that's 80 more. 80 more. Like, come on. If it was defensive team that has the best player, then I understand. I mean, even look at Anthony Davis, second in blocks, second in rebounds, third in contested shots, fourth in contested threes, 96% uh, guarding post-ups. Uh, Wemby, uh, sorry, um, Gobert, 89. So still good, obviously, but 108th in contested threes. I know he doesn't have to defend people shooting threes. They don't switch. I mean, they do switch, but not like that. Um, fourth in contested shots, second in rebounds, and sixth in blocks. Like... Not saying Anthony Davis should have won it, but I think I think Wemby should have won it. In my personal opinion, it should have been Victor Wembanyama, and he should have had uh, both the the offense, uh, sorry, the rookie of the year and the defensive player of the year. Not to say Gobert isn't awesome, but like like he's amazing. He's obviously amazing, but yeah, I just think that Wemby should have won it. Uh, but anyway, and like 
do I think if I think great defensive centers of all time, I'm thinking Matumba, I'm thinking Ben Wallace. Yes, I'm thinking Gobert, but not on the same level. I know it's a different game these days. You can't be the same defensive guy that those guys were. But yeah, I'm four time. Mm, I don't know. But anyway, that's. I just want to jump on here and say uh, you know shout out to to uh, Rudy Gobert. As much as I don't think he should have won it. Obviously, the NBA people that have a vote, the the media guys, they do, and you know they know more than I do. I'm just some random dude sitting in a room, you know, yakking to a, a camera and a microphone. Like you know, <laughs> I don't really know shit. But anyway, shout out Rudy Gobert, four time Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, shout out Wemby, he'll be Defensive Player of the Year probably next year and the year after. He might get five. I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel up a little bit, so yeah, I really appreciate that, and yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.